Is Elon Musk launching too many rockets? Or is he not launching enough? Find out more on today's Musk Watch! Guitar next. Upgrading. Do you know what the only thing better than one successful rocket launch and landing over a weekend is? Yes, I do. It's finding your chapstick in your pants pocket before you do laundry. And then it melts in the dryer and leaves weird little stains all over your clothes when it should really be leaving weird little stains all over your chapped laps. No, that's not the best thing. The correct answer is SpaceX's two successful rocket launches and landings over the course of a single weekend mm. within 48 hours. And the icing on the cake is that the Falcon 9 launch from Florida was a reused rocket. He is Killing this! My favorite kind of cake is recycled cake. Now I get why so many rocket launchers are from Florida, because honestly, anything in its right mind would want to get the hell out of Florida. But what all these launches are doing is cementing SpaceX's vision of an accessible private space sector industry. It might seem like a small step, but it's a step towards humanity's future among the stars. But, and mostly it's a, it's a step towards getting further away from Florida. <laughs> You're the vestigial wane of the United States. Now taking the premise of saying yes and to Musk's ideas to the next level, the University of Nevada's Radical Innovation Award winner Brandon Seabrick's Hyperloop Hotel could use Elon Musk's high-speed two-base transport concept to turn shipping containers into hotel rooms that can then travel between cities. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Human bodies in shipping containers? This isn't Dexter or The Wire. Even though season two was the best season of The Wire. Fight me on it. The Hyperloop Hotel would move living, breathing humans between 13 US cities and cost you around 1,200 buckaroos an evening. Or if you're leaving Miami and you're a serial killer, it could cost you your life. Yeah, let's just Hyperloop out of this extended Dexter reference ASAP. Surprise, motherfucker. Anyway, Business Insider recently compiled a list of all of Elon Musk's favorite video games. Now we know that we take after our daddy and our love of games, but what games does our dad specifically dig? Well, we know that he plays Bioshock, a game that explores the place of capitalism in modern society, which is fitting, and that game's fantastic, and he's pretty cool. Also Mass Effect, a game where humanity has colonized Mars and beyond, which is also fitting, because Mass Effect Andromeda even gave SpaceX a shout out. Yeah, he's in that game. And, uh... He's a romanceable NPC. You can f*** our dad. Don't! Also on the list, Fallout, where humanity has squandered its limited remaining resources. Which is, which is fitting. He's also way into Overwatch. Overwatch is amazing, yeah. Generally, Blizzard does great stuff. Who do you main? Uh, who do I main? Yeah. Well, I main, I tend to main Reinhardt, or Farah, or Lucio, but I do love playing Soldier 76, which is fitting, because that is who Papa Elon mains. He's really? a Soldier 76 player. It makes sense because Soldier 76 is the daddiest of characters for the daddiest of daddies. He's a character that I often play myself, and you know what they say, like father, like son. That's what my kids play the most. <laughs> they do say that. Okay, now before we go, it's time for your Musk See moment of the week. Whoa, whoa, wait. Where did you get this? Dude. It's obvious someone at SpaceX really cares about me, and we all know who that must be. Look, I'm all kitted out. Woo! I mean, sure, that's ready for the stars. You look great. You Baby. look super comfortable, and that's super that's cool. Yeah. I mean, all I have is this great photo from when I went there. What? What? That's the photo you took? You went there? Who was even taking that picture? It was take your kid to work day. Who do you think? What? How do you even get there and then you can't even take a good photo? You gotta take. Oh, we, I mean, we've been practicing I just for this. We've go been, there been, so often to see dad that it's just like, who uh, cares? What? How many know. times have you been there? I mean, look, can you really put a number on it? Like nine? I don't know. Who can say? Rockets are pretty cool. Nice t shirt. Who cares? That's all the time we have for this episode of Must Watch. So before Dan. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Musquash. Remember to like and keep the discussion going in the comments below, or one of us will die. What? Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Musquash! And also oh, hold on, I'm gonna tune up. Musquash! Is my hair covering it? Yeah. Yes. Dragon! Uh-oh. I do want a t-shirt. <laughs>